All right, folks, we're uh, back with AIAG. This is Andy Shiles with Simply Trade Podcast, and thanks to MRC Customs, we're here. So with that, would you all introduce yourselves, uh, and you're here for AIAG. I can't, I'm having a hard time with this one. I'm like, AIAG. AIAG. And I'm not used to saying it all the time. So how are you, you members of the organization? We're members, okay. and um, we are Mary Francis Allen with mm-hmm. Pedraza Custom Brokers. Okay. So we're custom brokers. We have offices in Laredo and El Paso, Santa Teresa, and we're here partly to visit clients and other members of of the AIAG. All right, great. Yeah. How yeah. about yourself? Say, so my name is Alberto Pedraza, and uh, Customs Broker, uh, I'm the CEO of the Pedraza Custom Brokers, and we're here to learn something and uh, network. There, there you go. Well, it's always good to, to shake hands with your clients and, yes. and, and, and actually sit down and developing that relationship. We all have vendors. We all have, a, but you're, I've always said the relationship of a client to a customs broker is a intimate one in the business relationship wise because they, you have to know their business and what they're trying to, to accomplish, right? That's right. No, um, it's very, you know, it's a lot of trade secrets. Well, and as a broker, you're trying to navigate all the regulations and the laws and all that on behalf of a lot of your clients. So that could be challenging, I guess. With the automotive industry, I guess, what would be probably the biggest challenge where people are making mistakes, if you will, of what you see? I would say in the uh, USMCA, the mm-hmm. Not, well, formerly NAFTA, right? Claiming something that is not really, and it's ignorance. Mm-hmm. They, they haven't done the calculations properly, or they, they don't know the rules, mm-hmm. especially the new rules. Well, so especially that, that content that factor, right? Yes. It's like the content yeah. factor, uh, North American content went up. Correct. The whole idea was to encourage more, stimulate more international trade between the three countries, U.S., Canada, and Mexico, but. That is, I, I, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people are falling short of the content, isn't it? Yes, but also I think sometimes even if they hit the content, uh, some manager down the line, you know, down three months later, oh, I can't get this component cheaper it, somewhere it, in Southeast Asia, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. And they don't understand the ramifications of bringing that component into the production. You lose. Because that might throw the, you, that you're no longer qualified for USMCA. Now, we're told okay. you're hitting some. You okay. can need to look at things holistically, correct? Because the sourcing and the purchasing, purchasing folks, bigger, better, faster, and cheaper. And yet, what they just did, yeah, the part may be cheaper, but now the overall is going to be much more expensive because added duties and taxes correct. and things of that. And 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 they sometimes I, we've seen it happen. We're like, wait a minute, and you know, we, we've seen that happen. They don't they don't coordinate. So to that, and that's a great point. Um, who would you suggest if it's a top level executive of a company or the owner or whatever, that. would you hit the CEO or president or would you say CFO wise, who needs to look at that and ask those questions? What, what should they be asking? Well, depending on the company, usually they, they, they have a department of uh, trade compliance. Mm-hmm. So you first get to trade compliance saying, hey, you need to look at this, okay? And then they can then internally, they can go back and, well, who we'll changed this? You know, it probably usually go back to the CFO or somebody, some, you know, or maybe not a CFO, but some engineer decided that uh, something cheaper was better. What were you thinking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't do it on your own. Get your broker involved or yes. somebody with an expertise, right? That's what we tell them. Before you start making, a so- you know, changing sources, you know, making source decisions, you need to bring it to us and vet it out. Yeah, exactly. Excellent. Yeah. Folks, that's excellent, excellent advice. So that's one of the things. Thank you for that.